right, sorry, that video cut out. So back to what I was saying, Kundalini energy, Kundalini awakening, um, it's very sexual energy. Um, so make sure that whomever you give your sex to, you are aware that you're also taking in their energy, right? Um, it's a give and take. So you could lose a lot of good energy and take on a little, a lot of bad energy. So just make sure you're protecting yourself in every aspect. Um, Mars in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're done. Like Mars. Okay, so Mars was once a planet just filled with life, right? And it was abundant and it was great. And then all the resources depleted and now it's kind of like a dead planet run by robots, right? <laughs> um, and so I feel like this is kind of symbolic to your situation where you once might have seen a lot of life and love and energy there. Uh, it's just not there. It's been depleted. Um, let me see. And you have Mercury. Um, this is also an alchemy symbol for the mind. Right? You're really getting in touch with your thoughts, your energy. This could also mean thought loops. So be careful of getting caught in negative thought patterns. Um, and if you catch yourself thinking too negatively, try to turn that shit around. Because you're a great manifester. <laughs> and so whatever you say, whatever you think. Whatever you dwell on, you might manifest more of that shit, right? So if you dwell on the negative, you're going to manifest a lot of fucking negative, right? Uranus, yep, back to that mind energy, that like, that really in your head energy. Jupiter, transformations, all right? Evolution of the soul. Um, Malkuth, the crown chakra. Yes, you are divinely guided divinely protected so I feel like if your crown chakra is not open yet you should get there <laughs> because you know through meditation and all of that because if you really start listening to the universe and really start listening to the guidance it's going to propel you into your happy ending so to speak um the caduceus in reverse um there's a lot of healing that needs to take place um, within your situation, within your twin flame situation. I feel like the Aries got burnt, but you're made out of fire. How'd you get burnt? How? How? Fire cannot get burnt, okay? <laughs> Just like I have to tell the Pisces, fish cannot drown, okay? So heal yourself and remember, keep that in your mind. Fire cannot get burned. You will not be taken advantage of. Not again. Not ever. Because you're setting new boundaries for yourself. Because I said it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, Sagittarius, right? Sagittarius is also like really strong, fiery kind of energy. Um, also very earthy energy. Um, I don't know if there's a Sagittarius in your life specifically. Um, but this is like shooting for the stars kind of energy, like having the motivation and the drive to go for what you really want. And also with the centaur, that's kind of the connection between two worlds, the animal and the divine, you know, like the beast and the, and the God kind of energy within you. And maybe you are going through battles concerning that. I mean, especially if you're having primal urges, <laughs> Um, it might make it hard to be in your head the right way. Um, just meditate. <laughs> I got you. Meditate. <clears throat> Choke my. I was, whenever I look at this, I just see gray area, right? Um, this is also one of the pillars of the tree of life. Um, which represents building a foundation, right? Gray areas, though, they're more, it's like, being able to integrate the light and the dark within yourself. It's finding that balance, right? It's like understanding who you are, accepting who you are, understanding that sometimes you're going to feel shit that is negative and it doesn't make you a negative person. It's just, it makes you a person, okay? And it's okay to feel it and let it go. You know, how you handle those feelings is really indicative of your character. 
So if you use anger to motivate you and drive you towards your passions and your goals, that's a really productive way to use anger, right? <laughs> but if you're using your anger to blame hate and shame, then that's not very productive. So make sure you just direct your feelings better. Like, um, if you haven't already, if you're not already in that energy, direct it. Like, because we can be the masters of our own minds, the masters of our own energy, right? So, like, if you, if you feel this, like, instinct of, like, I'm pissed, <laughs> why, you know, feel it and jive with it. Go for a run or something. Let that energy out. That's kundalini energy, right? That's kundalini energy. And if, I mean, if you just go do some push-ups or something, that's how you transfer that energy upwards and then you open up that ground. <laughs> okay. The third eye, the ground, the throat chakra. Speak your truth always. Live your truth always. Um, live in the balance, you know? Really live in the balance. I feel that for you. Like, I feel like that's what you really want to. I feel like you're done with all the bullshit. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. Anyway, um, I bid you adieu. I hope you have a great day. Namaste. And I cannot wait to do another reading on you. <laughs> I'll talk to you later.